lacked loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of days. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this guy to hell. Here's her with us, the common folk. Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name, a boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle of mead. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Pagan rats, ravenous, unseemly beasts, teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. 
A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Not to worry. We have a Mercian of our own. Shalewolf, you mean? Ha! <laughs> when I'm done with you lot, I'll execute that foolish thing for treason! My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a battering ram? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Adheret lumbare ad furure de hominibus quasi stercus superru. A good traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. My prices are competitive. Yes, all right. Look here. This spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. I have nothing more to share for... Are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted a fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrid showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. 
It's up to you. Destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers! Leave the king to me!
It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Chaelbad was around. Maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Seems Leofrith is at odds with his king, but bound to duty. A loyal man.
chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets. About me, about Repton, our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We have Tamworth. Burkrit's on the run. You are the king in all but name. It won't matter. So long as Burgred is free, the people will call him king. He must abdicate his crown to me. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonas. My son told me what happened earlier, with Eivor pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial, or by training. He'll come around in time. Keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Show me.
Ready? Just in case. 